What's going on? Raven Ritual 666 back from the dead with another Diablo 4 build guide. Today I'm very excited to bring to you my fireball direct damage build that I used to solo and farm everything in the end game for season 6. Uh, this build is so nice to play, it is a point and click easy kill. It's so fast for farming Obdesite through the hordes, uh, it's really quick through the undercity. Um, you can easily farm your glyphs from pet 80 plus. Uh, it just feels amazing all round. We are taking advantage of a bugged interaction with destructive fireball. This season, every time the fireball bounces using your gloves of the illuminator, for some reason it is multiplicatively increasing the damage. Uh, some of the pros of this build, one, it's pretty easy to set up. Um, it does great AoE, it is amazing on single target for killing torment bosses, you can do it incredibly quick and in a party. Uh, some of the cons, it's a bit gear intensive, it does require 3 mythics and 2 uniques at a minimum to set up. Um, however, you're going to have an easy time with so much survivability, you're going to be at your resistance cap, you're going to be at your armor cap, and you're just going to feel like an absolute god with the great balls of fire. In the interest of keeping this video short, I'm not going to do a full in-depth guide to every skill, why we use them, every Paragon node. Um, if you do have any questions regarding it, please leave a comment down below. I'm happy to answer all your questions. Um, my build guides are over on Mobilytics, so you will find the build guide down below in the description. Uh, we can check out everything that we are using from all of our skills, to our Paragons, um, even to our reinforcements like Oldkin and Variana. Uh, you can see here in this horde that we are absolutely destroying um, everything on 3 player scaling. I even got a burning butcher here on solo 3 player and it just dies in a short period of time. So kind of how the build works is some of those cons are you do need to have a little bit of distance from an enemy uh, because the more times your fireball bounce the more damage we're going to do because we're taking advantage of that bug with the destructive fireball node. Now being a direct damage build, we want to scale our crit chance. We're at 100% crit chance as you can see here. And we want to scale as many ranks of fireball as possible. And we do that through our endless rage, um, as well through our gloves of the illuminator. Um, but pretty much the gameplay is hold fireball, point and click, rotate your barriers. And when you can, you know, cast your familiars, uh, get your um, lightning spear up to apply vulnerable. Uh, we have Frozen Orb equipped as an enchantment to get Vulnerable, because I didn't get Lucky Hit Chance to apply Vulnerable on an Amulet. And it, overall, it just feels uh, really good to play. It's quick for boss farming. Um, it's just so much fun. Now, the animation of the Fireball, how it works with the Gloves of the Illuminator, it does bounce. So as you can see here, I'm going to teleport as far away as possible, and the big damage numbers you will be hitting will unfortunately be off screen, but I have hit for almost 10 billion, I think a 9.6 billion, which I have clipped on my Twitch channel. Um, you will find me live on Twitch, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So if you want to come see some showcase of this build, see me pet push, have any questions regarding it, or you're looking for some gear and need some help, I'm always available. Um, again, if you are enjoying this build and the content, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me to keep making these videos um, for people like you. So I really do appreciate it. Um, I do want to keep this kind of quick. So here's a quick look at a pit 85. The con I did say is a little bit of the movement. Like, once enemies get too close to you, unfortunately, um, you do kind of have to use your teleport or your dodge to kind of distance yourself because we're applying so much crowd control. We're freezing everything with Lucky Hit Chance to freeze. Uh, we're getting extra damage um, from Hawfrost passive, um, so 18% damage there. We've got our damage buff from all the usuals with sort, like Conjuration Mastery, um, your Devouring Blaze, and your Glass Cannon. Um, you want to roll Glass Cannon onto your amulet um, for that extra damage. But, you know, it's really smooth to play, uh, it feels great, um, it's quite easy to set up. You don't even need perfect master working, you just put this gear onto your character um, in Torment 4 and you will be able to play comfortably. Uh, the three mythics we run is the Air of Perdition for that extra 60% multiplicative damage. It is very, very nice to have. Uh, we still are running our Ring of Starless Skies um, just because it's amazing still for the damage buff. Um, and we do use Tyrials. You can set this version up with a Raiment um, if you want a little bit of extra damage. It's almost better on single target bosses. 
Uh, you will find you might die occasionally with the raiment setup compared to Tyrael's. So I just prefer the Tyrael's when I'm farming all content. You can see I'm just hanging out here on my Discord call and both that hordes and, you know, while chilling on a, a pit 85, talking to my friends, not having to worry about being one shot or playing super sweaty. So um, it's a just all round fun build uh, for doing everything that you want in the game. And I've been using this to um, farm all my Obdesite ready to push to the Fireball Shatter build, uh, which is going to be one of the top two builds this season um, for the absolute pit clears. So if you're struggling on Torment 4, um, you find yourself dying, or you're just not doing enough damage to kill bosses, this is an amazing build for you. Um, so yeah, give it a go and let me know what you think in the comments. Um, otherwise, um, I'm not going to go through um, all, all the, the gear, the Paragon, the skills as per normal. I really wanted to keep this video nice and short and just do a bit more of a build showcase. Um, but please, yeah, if you're playing Fireball this season, I want to know and how are you finding it? I, I do think maybe one of the other better builds which I've already showcased this season is Chain Lightning to do everything. However, Chain Lightning requires almost perfect masterworking, perfect gear. You are needing three, four GAs on Chain Lightning and it is very mana intensive. It is definitely by far a better build for, for your highest pit clears. Um, but if you are struggling for the resource to set that up, I definitely recommend playing Fireball. Uh, it's just a very viable option this season. All right, well, everyone, thank you so much um, for being here, for watching through this gameplay. I will see you all in the next one.